hello guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new please consider subscribing and if you have thank you so much for the support i really appreciate it so in this video i decided to start by showing you the dress that i made on the previous video since i did not show it on that video so on this video i will be making my second garment which is a corset with shorts and i have already drafted my planning and i'm going to start by tracing out the planning so that i can create my final pattern hi guys welcome welcome back to my channel so right now i'm about to start my second school project and it is a corset top with um shorts that have an elastic waist and a turn up hem so this is the fabric that i'll be using it's a leather but this is an upholstery leather i couldn't i needed a pleather but i couldn't get that so i settled for this upholstery leather that worked for me so here are my patterns i have all my patterns in here so i'm gonna go ahead and start laying them on the fabric and i will just trace around them since i can't pin on leather yeah and I'll, i don't know what i'll use i'll use either a scissor or a rotary cutter to cut these pieces out so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and do that right now After creating my final pattern, I went ahead and cut all the pieces and you just saw me cutting all the pieces and I'm going to be ironing the interfacing on the cup pieces and the main fabric of the corset then I will start sewing. I'm sure I mentioned this earlier, I got an upholstery leather and it was very hard to sew so I ended up using a normal thread and stitching the same seam twice so that it can hold the fabric.
Now it's time for me to insert the boning. My initial plan was to sew the boning on the fabric, but instead I stitched the seam allowance down and inserted the boning in between. At this point, the corset was stressing me out because the fabric was very hard to sew, so I decided to put it aside and start working on the shorts. My initial design with the shorts was to create a turn up hem, but the fabric was too thick, so I just overlocked it and folded it. This is how my corset is looking so far. I still have to stitch one cup, and this is the lining. I still haven't joined the back piece of the lining and I haven't joined them because the opening is on the side and I have to figure out which side that is first. This is why I stopped recording and this is the final result. I love the pants very much, they are perfect. And for the corset, I wanted to insert cups, but the fabric is too thick so I could not insert them. And I absolutely love the lacing on the side, it looks very nice. That is it for this video thank you guys for watching this video and a big thank you for the 600 subscribers your support means a lot to me and i'm looking forward to seeing you guys on my next video